O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. The saints who toil from place to place, spreading the gospel of God's grace, now in their heavenly homeland dwell, with Christ to me they serve so well. Alert at thy command to go, and everywhere thy word to sow. They went, O Master, far and wide, eager but yet unsatisfied. Thine was the task they took in hand, thine their good news for every land. Thine was their power and thine again, their passion for the souls of men. The Lord cares for the weak and oppressed. In the Lord I have taken my refuge. How can you say to my soul, Fly like a bird to its mountain, See the wicked bracing their bow, They are fixing their arrows on the string, To shoot upright men in the dark, Foundations once destroyed, what can the just do? The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord whose throne is in heaven. His eyes look down on the world, his gaze tests mortal men. The Lord tests the just and the wicked, the lover of violence he hates. He sends fire and dreams down on the wicked. He sends a scorching wind as their lot. The Lord is just and loves justice. The opera shall see his face. To the Father, the Son and Holy Spirit, give praise for ever. Amen. The Lord cares for the weak and oppressed. Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. Lord, who shall be admitted to your tent and dwell on your holy mountain? He who walks without fault, he who acts with justice, and speaks the truth from his heart, he who does not slander with his tongue, he who does no wrong to his brother, who casts no slur on his neighbour, who holds the godless in disdain, but honours those who fear the Lord. He who keeps his pledge, come what may, who takes no interest on alone, and accepts no bribes against the innocent, such a man will stand firm forever. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, 
both now and forever. Amen. Blessed are the pure in heart. They shall see God. God chose us in his Son, and made us his adopted sons. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ, with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us. He has made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ. His purpose he set forth in Christ, as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God chose us in his Son and made us his adopted sons. Now I have something to tell your elders. I am an elder myself and a witness to the sufferings of Christ. And with you, I have a share in the glory that is to be revealed. Be the shepherds of the flock of God that is entrusted to you. Watch over it, not simply as a duty, but gladly, because God wants it. Not for sordid money, but because you are eager to do, eager to do it. Never be a dictator over any group that is put in your charge, but be an example that the whole flock can follow. When the chief shepherd appears, you will be given the crown of unfading glory. This is a man who loves his brothers and is a seed for the people. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. He laid down his life for his brothers. This is a man who loves his brothers, and intercedes for the people. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. This is a man who loves his brothers, and intercedes for the people. What will a man gain if he wins the whole world and suffers the loss of his own soul? My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in a lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects his brother's servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. 
praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, world without end. What will a man gain if he wins the whole world and suffers the loss of his own soul? Let us pray to Christ the High Priest, who was appointed to represent men in their relations with God. Lord, save your people. Lord Jesus, in times past, you have lighted the way for your people through wise and holy leaders. May Christians always enjoy this sign of your loving kindness. Lord, save your people. You forgave the sins of your people when holy pastors prayed. Continually cleanse your church through their powerful intercession. Lord, save your people. In the presence of their brothers, you anointed your holy ones and poured on them your spirit. Fill with your Holy Spirit all the leaders of your people. Lord, save your people. Nothing could ever separate the holy pastors from your love. Do not lose even one of those whom you redeemed by your passion. Lord, save your people. Through the pastors of your church, you give your sheep eternal life, and no one can steal them from you. Save the faithful departed, for whom you laid down your life. Lord, save your people. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, you raised up St. Ignatius Loyola in your church to give greater glory to your name. Grant that, aided by his prayers, we may fight against all that is evil on earth and with him receive the crown of victory in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life.